Hello everyone and welcome to another gameplay commentary for ZPS. This map is called ZPO Res Evil Movie, so it's like the map of the Resident Evil movie. So we start out and we're in uh, the, the mansion and it's full of guns. There's an M4 on the right and a bunch of MP5s and two magnums on the left. And obviously I don't get any of them, but I pick up this Remington in this hallway. Uh, a lot of people miss out on it. And after the door's hacked, after 5 seconds, you'll want to turn left and go down these stairs over here. Now there's actually two ways you can go through this. You could jump on those boxes like that one guy uh, before did. I just took the long way, just just for the hell of it. But um, uh, you gotta wait, either you or your teammates have gotta go into that one room right there. And there's like a, a switch that you need to pull. Now you wait here, um, there's a button to press on the train. When you press that button, you've got about... Um, I don't know, five to seven seconds to get on the train before the doors close. When you're on the train uh, and the doors haven't closed yet, you, uh, you want to try not to kill the zombies that are coming towards you up those stairs uh, because uh, when you kill them, they, c they have a good chance of spawning to the place that you're about to get to. Uh, so you, you'll wait until here. Uh, the train actually doesn't move, it just teleports you. So you get out of the train, you go up these stairs, zombies spawn on that left area right there. Uh, so when they start spawning, just be careful of that area. Uh, the ammo up here is randomized. Uh, it's no specific set of uh, ammo. So, and in this part, you, you're gonna want to hold off for uh, a few seconds. Uh, that door right there is just gonna explode first. Uh, so you want to be careful of the explosion, because I've seen it take out a few survivors. And once it starts sparkling, just go through. Um, and the, the, the zombies spawn uh, ahead in the, that elevator there, so just hang a left, go through the doors. Uh, and here I found out a really uh, useful way of going down these stairs, just going around in a circle like that uh, prevents you from taking damage like those other people you just heard like falling down. Probably lost like 50 uh, damage from that, but going down that way, uh, you, you avoid taking damage. So go down these hallways right here towards the waypoint there's a bunch of ammo here especially for rifles so well actually for all the weapons um, so don't don't go immediately through these doors right here like I, I just gave the command to just wait because um, you uh, once you go through those doors the zombies are gonna start spawning ahead so you want to wait until your whole team is is going through is uh, at this area so once your team is at this area, you'll press the keypad and go through. You're, you're going to want to rush through this because uh, the zombies are going to start spawning in the, the the crates to the left and right of you. And they're going to start breaking through and they break through them pretty quickly. So like I said, you, you want to get through this area pretty fast. Uh, once you get through that area, you'll go here, press the keypad to go through the door and activate the, the computer to start opening the next area, which is uh, a laser area. I think uh, I'll show you how to do it here. First thing you'll want to do is to press this button across the hall here. The game will produce an invisible wall in the entryway so no one else can come in. After the door is closed, crouch immediately and keep crouched for the first two lasers. The game will try to fool you, but as long as you keep crouched, you'll be fine. After that laser is done, go across the hall again and turn around quickly and jump over the laser. It'll come back, but as long as you keep crouched, you'll be fine. I think you can actually stand, but it's better to be safe than start. I think for this one, you can also stand too, but like I said, it's better to be safe. After that one's done, here's the tricky part. The lasers will go everywhere, so there's no one else to go except back. So stand up and start backing up as the lasers start going towards you. It doesn't work while you're crouching because you move too slow and it'll, the lasers will kill you. Take my word for it, I've tried. And that's pretty much how you do it. Okay, so if you have a lot of stuff and you're weighted down, you probably don't want to do lasers because when you're slow, you're, you have a higher chance of getting killed. So when you first get into this area, uh, check that the door is going to be barricaded as fast as possible because the zombies are just going to start pouring in once you get in here. So if you don't see anybody barricading the the door, 
uh, and you have some free space, uh, pick up the barricade hammers and barricade them yourself because they're going to become pouring in. Especially when there's a lot of people on the server. Uh, the barricade that you see on there isn't exactly the best barricade. Um, I've seen a lot better ones that use the shorter ones. I think it, the longer ones have less health than the shorter ones. So that's why you would want to use the shorter ones. Uh, they, they take more damage. And uh, if you place them right, uh, sometimes the zombies don't attack them. And th that allows you to use the barricades for longer, like to block their path and um, give you free space to shoot them. So you can barricade here until the guy finishes the, the laser room. Uh, inside the laser room, uh, you have to activate the... or not, not activate, but shut down the Red Queen. So there'll be like a marker, um, like a red marker around this um, makeshift uh, like body. I, I don't know how to describe it, but it looks like a body. Uh, so you, you just press E on that and then it'll shut it down. Um, so yeah, you can see how much uh, rifle ammo is just taken out of that room. So you'll have enough to defend that area for quite a while. So I guess uh, nobody activated here, so I just go do it myself. And then the next two objectives come up. So the next two waypoints that appear on your screen are the two possible places where you can find the viral research. One is the offices which we're approaching to right here. Now the zombies can set up an ambush in here because they have access to it from their spawn, which you can see right here. Two zombies are already at the offices. So just be careful and remember to go in as a team. You really don't want to go in alone. Now the other place that you can find the viral research is the kennels, which are here, in this hallway. Now the, the zombies can enter the kennels through the vents, which are on the right, so be prepared to take a few out when you go in. Now this is, it's kind of hard to see, but this is what the evidence looks like, so just be on the lookout for this little box thing. And here's an expanded view of the office. So just remember to go in as a team and you'll make it through. So you can either do those objectives or you can take the guarding route. Now guarding is uh, absolutely essential in this area once those objectives pop up. Because uh, the zombies can break through these barricades and set up an ambush in this area. And you don't want that because you're going to be coming through this area um, right after you take those uh, uh, the evidence, the viral evidence. So just guard this area, and uh, like that guy just threw a grenade, make sure you know how to throw the grenades through the barricades. I mean, I've accidentally hit the barricade once while I was trying to throw a grenade out in there, and I destroyed all the barricades, causing all the zombies to pour through and killing us all. So make sure you know how to throw that. Okay, so the this team just picked up the, the viral evidence, so you gotta... Activate the Red Queen again, and um, wait here until the retrieval team has come back. Because you're gonna want everybody on your team that's alive to move together. You won't be able to survive otherwise. Um, so once everybody's here, just start destroy either destroy the barricades or have the guy who put them up take them down if they haven't taken any damage. Uh, the zombie just destroyed it. For there for us, uh, but once everybody's there, just start going through. You gotta go back, backtrack through this area, and be careful here because zombies are still spawning in the crates in this area. So they can, you like, like right there, I'm attacked by one of the zombies that just came out from my left, or from the left behind me. So let's get through this through here. Uh, be courteous. Uh, try to cover your teammates. Uh, I don't know if I do it here, but yeah, just try to cover your teammates. It helps you survive the more survivors there are. Now this is going to be a team that locates T-Virus, which is in that area to the left of me there. Well, that basically is just involves uh, hitting a door and then picking up pills. Or, or the T-Virus is what they call it. So wait here until your teammates go. Like I said, stick together and you survive. So you basically just backtrack, backtracking through this area, 
And so I think at this point, the zombies are either spawning in the crate area or uh, ahead of you here. So just be care be wary of zombies ahead of you. Yeah, take this ladder here. It's the fastest way up here. Uh, be careful in this area because the zombies that spawned ahead might be waiting at, like, as an ambush in here. Yeah, right, like right there. Uh, I think in this area they spawn in the area to the left of me right now. I remember uh, a zombie is getting killed, or no, a zombie was in the train, and the survivor that activated that button, um, like he got killed by the zombie, but the zombie got stuck in the train, so it glitched the whole map, and we weren't able to finish it. So just make sure all the zombies are killed. And make sure they don't get in the train because it might glitch the map. I don't know if they fix it in newer versions, but so you go through here. You're not done yet, so just wait until the train teleports you. It takes a few seconds. I just find it funny that the train itself doesn't move, but just teleports you. So you could have zombies waiting outside and you can hear them. But you te teleported back to this area. Almost done. So take this shortcut right here and just jump off the ledge and head up this th these stairs to the waypoint. Sometimes the zombies spawn around this area, so just be careful of them. And this is the door that takes you back to the mansion. Once you go through this door, it's pretty much it. The game's over and the survivors win. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, keep tuned. I'll upload some more ZPO uh, commentary and have a good day.